<laughs> but you know, if I step this way, if it's infinite, it doesn't mean that you know, uh, the universe gets shorter by one step this way. If I step this way, it doesn't mean that gets longer and this gets shorter. So anywhere you are, anywhere you are, you know, you're the center of the universe. I am the center of the universe. So are you and you and you. Okay, but when you talk about uh, being centered in terms of balance, you know, the context is gravity. So what you try to do is to arrange different segments of your body so that it's aligned and holds, holds you together. And you're using only those muscles that are involved in holding you up. You know, your upper body is relaxed. There's tension here because you need here to hold yourself upright. If this relaxes, this is how you now gravity is pulling out here, <laughs> and it's kind of pulling you apart. But if your posture is right, and you're using only the you know, uh, muscular energy that's necessary to, to uh, hold yourself upright, then your center of gravity falls about two inches to where you may. You know, so, so here, you know, to, to become one with her, I have to be one within myself. So as I walk, if my mind comes here, you know, already we're separate because I have, I think that she's wearing me and I have to do something to her. Or if I stop here, See how my posture is? So I'm no longer one within myself. Okay? So <coughs> from here, become one. You know, just like this. Be centered and in balance. And walk centered and in balance. Okay. Tendency, if you want to bring them along, you want to do this. The other thing, the essential legs that you're using, so to speak. Your hands are not involved in walking, so you don't do this <laughs> or tense it up. You just give it over and okay? you know, focus on one thing. Keep your vision wrong, you know, more like your arm for a show. thinking about how to walk, <laughs> then, you know, already the floor is cut. The key is cut. You know, so keep it broad and just go. You've walked all your life, so you know how to walk. Unless <laughs> you develop some bad habits. <laughs> now, if you want to turn this into an Aikido technique, You know, instead of going forward, you just do the side. Don't do anything with your arm, just with your move. You see, again, you, know, you move as one. You get throwing in your mind, you move here, now your shoulder comes in. And you're separate, your upper body is separate. Maintain your center and balance, which means you have to maintain your posture and move. So again, keep your vision broad, and when that happens, one day your mind is moving. Thank you.
strength. You can feel it. That's a conflict I create to try to do something. So your initial move, you know, you should be centered and very soft. And again, using the least amount of energy, the muscular strength. Actually, the tighter you hold, so the easier it is. <laughs> but you maintain this and use very little muscular strength. Yeah. So just pinching on this. And being centered again, you know, has to do your posture and your breath, <coughs> which leads to using the least amount of energy to hold yourself upright you know, within the school of gravity. So these principles carry over you know, to your movements and to your idea. So you can center and balance, which means your posture is right, breathing is right, Again, you're using the minimum amount of energy to accomplish what you want to accomplish. <coughs> I, I often use the extended arm to illustrate, you know, how self-concepts develop. I lose. Be strong, I need. So again, you know, this, you're caught in this realistic uh, relationship between strength and weaknesses. But what happens is that you begin to, you know, uh, apply values you know, to, to these uh, labels. Winning is good. Is bad. So it becomes kind of an ego centered kind of emotional issue. So if you're caught, caught in this duality, there's only two ways you can be hit. Either be strong, go ahead. But if that happens enough times, I uh, say I'm weak and I can't. So I'm <laughs> just being So you begin to act in terms of the concepts that that you, you develop through this kind of thing and all the feedback that you get from your client. So, okay. so you learn about centering and extending key. Go ahead. So this is what transcending you know, duality is. You're not caught in winning and losing, but your focus is centering balance and learning how, how your body works and using it efficiently and effectively. Not winning. Winning is in the future, so you're, you're, not, you're not here anymore when you get involved in this kind of thing. To be here, you have to be centered and not concerned about winning or losing, being strong or weak, you know, but just being yourself. This is our key. This is a state of your original nature. Okay, so try that. I'm concerned about winning and losing. And your mind comes here. <coughs> we have a stronger physical. You know, but here, your mind is free. <coughs> so Separating and saying, "Come on, Zoe, let's go." 
is here and stopping your mind <laughs> so everything stops okay just absorb this and just stand up like you know okay <laughs> sit down see this is how we make problems for ourselves <laughs> so if you think this is a problem it is <laughs> so you keep your mind filling the whole room, and just do what you want to do, right? So try that. So if one won't be that way, it's not, it's, again, moving as well. to cut from here, it's very ineffective. Because if you have a saw, you don't cut from up here, from here, no. within your range of protection. So you have to position yourself where this comes. So it's a matter of positioning. If you have throwing in your mind and you start doing this, now you give him something to resist and he gets his balance back. So you don't try to do anything here, but get into position. It's a very different feeling from this. Okay, you can resist, push back. Gives him balance, but here it's like there's nothing to hold on to. So, you know, it's a, I, I hear all, you know, is it to make you strong? But it's a way to discover the strength you already have in you. But if you realize that we're all one and we're all connected and interdependent, you know, how can you not be gracious? So the transaction, where, where you transcend roles, you know, becomes one where everyone hopefully is getting something out of it. 
interacting and sharing more energies together. So when we close class, again, we thank the art of Sensei who you know, left this art for us to get involved and to learn about ourselves and teach our students.